I realize I need to burn off my ego because that ego is my biggest hurdle. It had made me blind, disrespectful and so selfish that I could not see my own flaws. I hurt your self-esteem and all the good you did to me. I not only trashed it, ignored it, but I pick up the statement you made me when you had enough of my immature and childish behavior. Each time you try to tell me what's better for me, I take it as an insult and take it very personally. I didn't want to be the wrong person ever, but all my mistakes down up to me when I suffered during the long separation. I realized that if only I didn't have such a huge swollen up ego, I would have seen your love as love. Your advice adds a pearl of wisdom that I could use. I was always smarter with love but never talked to me grateful for all the things other people had been doing for me throughout my life. When you come along doing your all loving things for me, I didn't see it too. I wasn't independent. I could not make a single decision. On my own rather, I always expected other people to take care of me. My tantrums and lack of apology had risen to new heights, but all the disrespect and all the ungratefulness I had expressed towards you, it all come back to haunt me and eventually teach me the most important lessons of love. I learned that love is not just a fun and entertainment. Love is not just about good times, but it's about responsibility. Love makes you take care of people who matter to you. It's about being a giver and not always a taker. I do feel a lot of guilt for the things I did not do for you, all the good things I did not do for you. It hurts me because back in those days when I had all the time and opportunity, I took your presence for granted in my life. But now I feel immense love for you without getting angry with myself. I realize sweet time and unconditional love is different from the type of love I was stuck about and the encounter I had with you had let do this discovery and I wish nothing but happiness for you. Thank you for watching.